the busiest train station in the world. Doesn't seem like it should be legal. No skating's allowed. Right around that corner is 69 hairpin. Shout out to Pikachu. <laughs> Copies with their faces on them. I was just amazed the whole time. I'm just seeing a video now. <laughs> I have had Japan at the top of my list of places to go to for four or five years now. I've wanted to come here more than anywhere else. I just uh, have heard stories of endless perfect roads and good food. I was thinking that it was going to be really condensed, like a lot of people and stuff and like kind of tighter, narrow roads, hopefully smooth pavement. Yeah, like a really dense city. But uh, get here and the ground is smooth. There's actually a couple of hills around. There's still tons of people that you got to skate around, but uh, the cars weren't too much of an issue, but it's actually a, a really, really skatable city to get around it. You know, every time we turned a corner, there was another skate spot. It was just endless skate spots. All the little kind of back alleys and stuff were really rad because it was like not many people. So it was kind of a good way to get around. You know, you kind of would stay close to the main road, but just be like one street over to avoid all the people, and, you know, all the congestion. All right, skating through Tokyo. Not really sure where we're at. Don't really have a direction to go. Just sort of going wherever our skateboards take us. You know, we have to get to high side later, but until then, we're just cruising through Japan. Skate and explore. We're gonna go check out some the squiggles we see on the map. Go right there. Yeah. We're over here. We'll over there. hoping that people would react similarly to how they do in China, where they kind of like, oh, they think it's a novelty and think it's kind of cool. It seems like most people didn't care here, or if they did care, it's because they wanted to kick us out. Maybe because there's more skaters or they don't like it, I don't know. I'd heard that Japan was really strict on skateboarding, that it's like supposedly illegal to skateboard anywhere in Japan, but for the most part, it was maybe not a accept it, but they didn't really seem to mind too much. And then once or twice there was like a concerned citizen or two that came up to us, but for the most part, it wasn't too much hassle. Not any more than a big city in North America, I don't think. Like the security usually kind of see you rolling up, and you kind of just had to like stay back a little bit and kind of make your plan. You know, guff like you'd get in position with the camera, kind of give us a little nod and we'd run in, try and get the trick and then run away real fast. Hopefully they didn't see us. And so it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse almost. I don't think they could have gone any better. Sand ice, the classic. Uh, I'll go with coconut ice bar. As much as I like sand ice. We are at Shinjuku Station, which apparently is the busiest train station in the world. Three and a half million people each day. And Billy just found an opening in that crowd to 50-50 that ledge and cruise down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably as good as it's gonna get. Unless he waited like another half hour. That was an unexpected little hill. That was fun. 
gonna go look at the Imperial Palace. Why are we walking? Because no skating's allowed, Guff. Don't no be foolish. No skating at all. Future. That's how triple beams are made, actually. I don't even drink coffee, but I'm about to drink myself. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> it tastes better than I thought I would. I don't see anybody that's here to pick us out, but I'm sure they will be eventually. In the meantime, I'm sure we can get some tricks. I think they'll come pretty quick, too. Like, dude, this is so skatable. We got kicked out again. We weren't one and done, but we're maybe like three and done. Go back to that first thing we stumped upon when we were looking for this. There's some so other cool spots in the middle too. I already got the... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, dude, that rocks. I've seen these like come out of the ground before. It's been a long day touring the city of Tokyo on our way to this uh, bank that we got kicked out of. Here we are, skating a six foot and a half tall brick bank. <laughs> this is lemons right here, man. Life gave us lemons. Yeah, let's go get some food first and foremost and then go check out just the crazy, bright, like gaming entertainment zone and entertain ourselves. That's what we're here for, right? There's the cat. <gasps> You've been spotted. There's not really a waiter here. We just sort of put our money in kind of like a vending machine. Hopefully it takes it in conditions like that. And we pick what looks the best. I think I'm gonna get this pork cutlet curry. Mm. Juku on the top of some big building where Godzilla resides during his off season. And it's actually nice out right now, at least for a little bit. It's supposed to rain later, so we're gonna go skate while we can. And then, oh yeah, and then go to the robot cafe. Or cabaret, or concert, I don't know, a robot thing. We'll go do that later. It'll be tight.
restaurant was ridiculous. Like, I, I saw a few photos of what looked like, you know, kind of this cool robot show, but then we went there and watched it, and I was like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of hard to describe what, what it was actually like. But I was just amazed the whole time. So, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this is, this is ridiculous. Another highlight would probably be doing like the Mario Kart go-kart tour. This peach has been bruised. Where we got to like dress up as Mario characters and ride around on go-karts throughout downtown Tokyo, like at night, which doesn't seem like it should be legal because there were no seat belts, there's no helmets. Like, I don't know how it's okay to do that, but it was totally fine and it was really fun. So those things got ripping. Like we got to go over bridges and on the highway, just like I'm dressed up as Princess Peach. And, it was pretty silly. Like I was definitely like just had a big grin on my face the whole time I was doing that. It had just rained, or it was just kind of barely sprinkling, so the streets were all wet out. So if you kind of tried really hard, you could break traction a bit, and, like drift around some of the corners. I mean, you didn't want to do it too much because like it is like a really busy street. There's cars coming from all these different directions. So if you slid out too much, you'd go on the oncoming lane, and that'd be bad. We kept it relatively safe. Mount Iwaki, the volcano in Japan. Uh, Invitational Red Bulls putting this on. We're only doing the bottom half the run since it's raining, and that's okay because it's like 69 hairpins total. So we're gonna do 37, I think. Still an ungodly number of turns. And I'm really stoked I brought my rain wheels. It was a last minute thought, I'm so happy I did. Rain wheels, see, yeah, I put these grooves in myself. I don't really ever rain skate, but I have 37 corners to learn how. The, the weather should be good tomorrow, like I hope. We're not doing any racing today, it's just like practice, and then assuming the weather's good, Tomorrow we'll like race from the top all the way down. How was that? <laughs> I don't know. Yuji, what's the Japanese word for fucking awesome? <laughs> Psycho. Psycho? Mecha psycho. Psycho! <laughs> warm up and then we're gonna come up and then we're gonna go right into racing five man heats one advance down the entire road <laughs> Did semi-finals. Mitch and I made it through, which is tight. I had 
time of 13 minutes, 5 seconds. He was 13 minutes, 15 seconds. My legs are so tired. We're going to do the finals, so another 13 minute run. It's wild though, dude. Just so long, so people know who I am. And I've got my little timer on, transponder. Lay down another hot 13 minute lap. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, go! Let's right the side of the So uh, the people that live here, you know, the Japanese locals welcomed us uh, with such open arms. It was really crazy and unbelievable. You know, Ayumi and Pfeiffer and Yuji and Okada, everyone else I'm probably forgetting, really willing to go out of their way to help us and make sure that, you know, we felt welcome and had a great time. Yeah. All right. I got you look at a map and you see Japan and it doesn't really look all that big, but you get here and you see just how dense it all is. You know, you could spend years exploring and never find everything. So I'd love to come back again and maybe a couple more times after that. It's a wash. <laughs> He, he, won't, he won't forget he you. He won't forget you. <laughs> I won't forget you either. Yeah, <laughs> so, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.